What's going on guys, Andrew here. Welcome back to a Wolf of This. Today we're going to be checking out a fragrance from the house of Paco Rabanne. And this is none other than 1 million Lucky. So I hope you all enjoy the video. Alrighty, 1 million Lucky. So this is my most worn and most complimented fragrance. Not that that matters, but just to really show you all, that's how much that I have left now. And uh, let's just say I actually need to buy another bottle, but it is pretty expensive still. It actually retails at about $120, $130. And on top of that, it's still discounted. At discounted retailers, it's still running about $75, $80. So it is very expensive because a lot of women like this. Literally both men and women like this fragrance. It's one of those just sweet, fresh, mass appealing fragrances. The bottle literally looks like platinum. I actually really do like the bottle. The only thing that I wish is that it didn't scratch up as much because I do have a couple scratch marks that you all can kind of see there. But the bottle itself isn't bad. The atomizer is very good. I don't want to spray any of it now because I'm kind of doing a bunch of reviews on fragrances, so I don't want the air to be polluted. This is the Eau de Toilette. I don't remember them making an Eau de Parfum of 1 Million Lucky, but they may have and I just didn't know. It released in 2018 and this is the 3.4 mil. This is the 3.4 ounce one. I don't remember when I actually bought this fragrance, but I remember falling in love with it when I sprayed it and I was like, oh, I gotta grab this. Just smelling it off the atomizer right now. Oh, it smells so good. It's just, it's so good for the summertime. It really opens up during the summer, but you can definitely wear this honestly all year round because the notes in this one will actually go ahead and go over it. So it's gonna have hazelnut accord, green plum, grapefruit, white cedar wood, patchouli, and amber. And all that combined, it creates this citrus, sweet citrus, woody, amazing fragrance that it, it, honestly, it just performs so well too. Like the longevity on this is pretty much like a eight to 10 plus hour, especially if you spray this on like your uh, clothes. If you're wearing like cotton clothes, it's gonna last pretty much like the whole day. I've worn this to work. I've worn this to the amusement park. Almost everywhere I honestly wear this fragrance I at least get one compliment and I know compliments don't matter but this is honestly just a fragrance that I love and if you're looking for compliments if that's what you're really looking for go get you some uh, 1 million lucky because you're gonna have some luck when you wear it now I can see why some people may not like it though because it can be too sweet like now that I've gotten down to like the bottom of it and I've had it for a couple years it is a little bit sweeter than I remember and that's why I do kind of want to get a new batch of this for sure I will say the atomizer as well kind of gets a little flimsy towards the end of its life. Uh, I just noticed that it doesn't spray as hard. Uh, and what I mean by that, it doesn't have a really good mist effect as much anymore. It's almost like liquid I'm spraying on my skin, but it still lasts a very long time. It performs very well. During the opening of this, you just get straight like citrusy. It almost smells like pineapple and this sweet with that plum is so good. Like the combination is very well. And then once it dries down, you do start to get more of a sweet type of woody aroma. It's still good though. It's still appealing, at least to me. I do about probably three to four sprays. You really don't need too much of this one. Um, it is, it can be potent, so I wouldn't over spray it, but to each their own. Now, Paco Rabanne, they have a bunch of fragrances from their house. I actually have the original 1 million uh, right here and this one is the 6.8 ounce version my stupid self bought the 6.8 ounce version thinking oh my gosh I'm gonna run through this fragrance and that was the dumbest decision I probably ever made buying any cologne I don't have any cologne that's pretty much over like four ounces this this one I have put like a dent in there it may be a little bit hard to see but I have put a dent in there a little bit but it is this has lasted me years. I can't even remember when I bought this. That's how long it's lasted me. And it still smells very good. As you can see though, it is a little bit scratched up. I love the gold bottle effect. I love that it looks like gold. It's just one of those colognes that just, it looks very good and it's it's a crowd pleaser. Like, I can't think of many people that really aren't a fan of this. Um, on skin, it does smell better than on paper for sure. And that's like most fragrances. Just to show you all kind of the difference in the bottles. Yeah, it definitely... There's a huge difference. Um, like I said, this one, I really like this. I remember when I first bought this, the notes in this one, I actually do have it up because I might do a comparison video in the future. The top notes in this one are gonna be grapefruit, mint, blood, orange. The heart notes are gonna be rose, cinnamon, uh, some spice notes, as well as leathery notes. 
Then in the base, you're gonna have some more white woods, amber, and patchouli. So this is more of a woodier fragrance, definitely more for the fall. I wouldn't recommend wearing this one too much, honestly, in the summertime. I've done it before. It's It definitely can be overpowering in the summer months, but they're both great fragrances. There's plenty more from the house. They have a perfume version of this. They also have 1 million Preve. I bought a clone, actually, of that one in, like, probably a couple years ago, like two years ago. It was okay. I wasn't really a fan of the Preve as much as, like, these two. These two are pretty much my favorite from the house, and like I said, I still got to get another bottle of 1 million Lucky. But let me know which one is your favorite in the comment section below. I'd love to hear what you have to say. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see some more content like this. And until next time, peace out.